And we're back. I'm sorry about that, folks. I got called away for dinner. So, we now have our lamp. Our, okay, our lantern. I have tempted to call it a torch, but that's just me. So now we're in this dark kitchen. Freaking creepy. Well, uh, oh, I flip off my light. Because this barrel hill should be played. Let's uh, mess with the fuse box. Oh. Fuses left to right. So we have the lobby, the cafe lights, the cafe main, the kitchen lights, and the kitchen main. So we want the kitchen lights. Turn it off first. And there we go. Now that we've got the kitchen lights working again. Alright, just had a moment of fear. I thought I might have my microphone muted, which meant I would have played all this time without a word. Fire alarm, fire action. Don't worry, you don't have to actually mess with any of that. It's locked. Thanks, Jack. And yeah, we're stop it stopped at five of eight. Nothing we actually use, so... starting to thin, whereas time's not caught up with you. Well, Jim, it's all down to my new shampoo. It brings my hair back oh, to life. It makes me feel more youthful. Wow! How does it do that? It's marine enriched, reviving my hair's life and vitality with organic fish oils. It's a natural restoring hair tonic from Aqua Sensations. I'll have to get some myself. What's it called again? Omega-3 Regeneration. With Omega-3 Regeneration, you'll soon be looking and feeling 20 years younger. You should see what it's done to my cat. There's a place for you at South High Bingo. Oh dear. Okay, well, um, turn that off for a moment. Yeah, there is a reason that I stopped to have you guys listen to the uh, hair product commercial. And I pity that poor cat. That is important. A lot of your recent time and energy has been spent chasing a dream that you'll never achieve. If you want to continue this year with any worth, it's time to break free of your foolish venture and refocus on those that love and care about you, even if it becomes embarrassing. Libra. You've got nothing to lose by sticking to your guns, except the respect you have managed to retain recently. This month's path of Mercury and Saturn through your chart may slow down matters, but you've laid a strong foundation on which to build. Capricorn. No one can accuse you of not trying this week, as you seem to be busier than ever, both at home and work. Fulfillment is another matter, though, and you'll begin to question whether this whirlwind lifestyle is what you desire in the long term. Cancer. Refuse to compromise this week, even if family and friends threaten to alter your chosen path. They'll be the first to thank you later, when they witness 
is your clear-cut judgment winning the argument in the coming months? Uh-huh. Scorpio. Yeah, I think that goes to the entire astrological chart. Never actually sat to listen to it. And this is Emma Harry, back on the air again after that power cut. I'll be your nightlight till around about one o'clock, so long as we don't have any more power outs. Thank you, Emma. I've braved outside to fire up the generator and I'm up and running under my own steam. Hi tonight at the BHR station, alone here on Barrow Hill. Though I could swear I saw someone up here with me a moment ago. <laughs> with a little bit less daylight this time of year, you can imagine anything in that ever-increasing darkness. Why not give me a call and say hello on 585? And in case you've forgotten, it's 20, the autumn equinox, the beginning of autumn. Or for those from across the pond, the beginning of fall. And while the daylight hours are dwindling, there's a harvest festival celebration tomorrow down by the harbour. But if you're so excited you can't sleep, well, stay up with me and I'll figure out some way to keep you occupied. Thank you, Emma. Hmm. Actually, no, we'll leave that. Give me a call. Five eight five. A warm hello to any late night listeners out there. A great day out for the entire family awaits you. Everybody All right, you get a basket. At Antiques Adventureland. The tea rooms opening. Now, I normally leave the radio on just because I like having something to listen to in the game, because otherwise it's more or less silent. But, uh, egg cups. We have egg cups. Yeah, I, an uncooked egg could be murdered. Do not kill your customers. Yeah, like I said, I've, I've said I would try not to pick up things before I needed them. I lied just a little bit. There are things I'll grab the. Th yeah, I'll some. There are some things that I will get. I will get items. However, there's a certain process of getting items that I'm not going to do until it's necessary. There's a lot of searching around you can do, but not all of it is absolutely necessary. We'll be back for that cutting board later. Rubbish bin. Okay. So now... Get to go and poke around... Barrow. Hello, George. Will anybody ever find me? Will I disappear too? Who's that? Hello, George. <clears throat> oh, it's you. I've been watching you on the CCTV camera. Walking about. Don't you know what's out there? No. <laughs> I hear it. The voices in my head. They echo on uh -huh. and on and on. Timeless, fearless, faceless. He's heavy with sleep after feeding. It'll wake soon. It'll come for you. It's tracking you, following your scent and mine. I hope you're next. Hey. Then maybe it'll leave me alone. The shadow moves. Even with that lamp, you'll not get far. It's only a matter of time before it finds you, hunts you down. If I can hide long enough, someone's bound to come. Maybe I can get away. And why shouldn't I? Why? Why? Maybe it was you all along. Hey. Murderer. Murderer. They were just arriving. They'd just driven in and it caught them. Burnt them. Cut them down as they ran. It happened in seconds. It couldn't have been real. I must have been dreaming. Get away from me! It couldn't have been real. I must have been dreaming. And uh It's like living in a nightmare. Nothing like this has ever happened to me so before. So he's watching us. I'll wake up soon. Maggie will wake me up and I'll be asleep in the cabin. And uh George just accused us of murder. Alright, so we got the ladies and we got the gents. Uh-huh. Well, you know what? The gulls in general can kiss my arse. That is friggin' ominous music for a bathroom. And, uh, <laughs> the 
Water doesn't work. <laughs> I'd forgotten about that. Uh-huh. And yeah, we don't need the cleaner for anything. So, uh, <laughs> let's get out of here. And, uh, oh, no one's around. Check out the ladies, too. Got a mirror here. Oh, that's fun. What about this sink? Can't do anything with that one. Out of order. Yeah. All right then. It's a pity our character doesn't give us any uh, boom, any uh, feedback. All right, so they got the same things in both. I figure that they guess. Oh, the they'll only go into their own bathroom. As if. Huh. Monolith. Okay. So... Uh, yeah, sometimes trying to figure out what way you need to go in order to get around is, uh, 